I think I probably surprised everybody throwing a curveball first pitch. Um, but you know, it was a good, good pitch and enough to get a weak ground out that luckily stayed fair for us. And, um, good to get us out of that situation regardless and, and keep the game, uh, keep the score as it was. For it to be a curveball, a pitch that you've worked on, um, so, so much over the, you know, past few years, um, what does that say about, you know, the development of that pitch and your confidence in it? Yeah. I, I mean, I've, it's not that I'm, uh, as I've always, you know, I've, as I said, I've had pretty good feel for it this year for the most part. Um, but, you know, maybe relying a bit too much on the, the fastball changeup combination at times has not allowed me to maybe throw it as successfully or as, as much as I wanted to. But I think today is a, a good kind of measuring the stick to, hey, I can maybe throw it a bit more. And um, not to say not rely on the changeup as much, but, you know, was, I've got another quality secondary pitch that I can trust. Alec? <clears throat> yeah, Chris, what was the process slash th thought process of, of actually throwing it in that spot? You're saying the the first pitch? The yeah. yeah. Um, I was just making sure it wasn't down the middle or up or hanging or something like that. Obviously, it was standing, so anything over the middle of the plate, I was going to be wary of. Um, if anything, I wanted to, you know, throw it below the zone or even bounce it. Cause I trust it's Alvy to block it. But, um, you know, I ended up throwing it at a decent location and, um, kind of figured he was going to be aggressive in that situation. Um, so luckily, I mean, he was out in front, hit it off the end of the bat and the ball kind of bounced our way as it was rolling down the line.